Your audience shows up, attends the sessions and the workshops, and then just disappears. They vanish and nothing changes. So what happened or didn't happen? Was it something you said or something you didn't say? Did the audience get what they needed or everything they didn't want? It's an unsolved mystery that I can solve. So let's talk. I'm going to solve the mystery first, and then we can talk about it. The reason the audience disappeared is they didn't think that you were talking to them. They thought you were talking to someone else because the content wasn't relevant to them. Now, at any conference, event, or meeting, there are two groups. The people up there on the stage and the people down here in the audience. The people on the stage talk about what's important to them, the company or the association, and the people in the audience sit there and listen. This single idea is the biggest reason why you don't get results, have a low net promoter score, or your attendance is slowly decreasing. Two groups simply aren't enough. You can't assume that every employee, customer, dealer, member, or attendee is the same. Now let me show you what I mean. We're going on a field trip. Just think about it. Now uh, this person may be a dealer from a small city and his main concern is dealing with competition and building his business. And he doesn't have anything in common with this dealer from Dallas. But he has a lot in common with this dealer over here and this dealer over here. Or let's say your audience is educators. Now this is a middle school teacher from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And she really doesn't have a whole lot in common with this teacher from Manhattan, New York. But she has a lot in common with this teacher from Manhattan, Kansas. Okay, it's a little Wayne's World transition. If you don't address the different key segments of your audience, it shouldn't be any mystery that you don't get any results or your attendance declines. Segmenting your audience allows you to enable the content and messaging more than just communicating it. Let me be clear, you should do this. There are no excuses. You know who is coming to your conference or event. You know who came last year. So take some time to think about the value that they need from you and not just about what you want to say. Now, I'm not talking about customer segmentation you do for sales and marketing. I'm talking about your event audience. Successful segmentation isn't about how you see the audience. It's about how they see themselves. The big idea is to make your objectives part of their objectives. Now, when I talk to executives about effective ways to segment their audience, the number one objection I hear is, oh man, we can't do that. That would be a lot of work. And my answer is simple. How much does this audience mean to you? How important is it that they do what you want them to do? And how important is it that they come back next year? And that's why it's worth the effort. Now, each year I work with corporations and organizations to make their events and conferences more relevant, authentic, and deliver better results. And audience segmentation plays a big role. We start by doing four things. Do some audience research. Demographics are good, but what you're really looking for are common interests. Oh, situations, challenges, locations, and goals. Ask the attendees. Now, this isn't a typical post-event survey. Ask specific questions. What do they want from the event? What are their greatest needs? What do they expect you to do for them, and how can you provide the most value? Keep it simple. You're looking for patterns of needs that the attendees share, so focus on the ones with the greatest impact. You're looking to form a handful of groups and not some complex matrix. Communicate to the groups in advance. Let people know about the segments and let them discover where they fit in. Now, besides building value, you're giving people more compelling reasons to attend. So you can solve the mystery of the disappearing audience. Your winning strategy is simple to provide each person with the innovations, ideas, solutions, and motivations they need to accomplish both their goals and your goals. 
Now, segmentation will pay off, and it's going to pay off in a giant all-caps experience. You know, the one that makes people feel that it was worth their time and effort, the one that will make them do what you want them to do, and the one that will bring them back again next year. So, how can we segment your audience and let them know your event is for them? I'd like to work with you to make your next event and conference more successful. So let's talk, and thank you for watching.